I guess we can get this party started. So, obligatory check-in. Uh, just kind of review methods again, because uh, some people lost <laughs> last class uh, struggled to remember what that was. Uh, and just talking about classes in general, and then we're going to write our own class, um, Pokemon, and then do things with do things with it. So, um, all good in Jeffland. Uh, server website. You've looked at the assignment. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, if, yeah. If we're if we're there, um, I don't really track Jeff's assignments too much unless people ask. Um, and then, do you have any requests of any material to, that you would like me to cover? Maybe agenda would be fine. Okay. Cool. So, a method is just a procedure, a technique, or a way of doing something. It's, this is what we just pulled out of a dictionary. Um, and it's and it's true for for even our purposes um, that it's just a sequence of instructions and maybe there's maybe there's branches that it takes off, it, it takes it calls other methods or it has you know, an if else or a loop or something going on inside of it but it's just it's just a series of steps um, or, or way of breaking down a problem um, and a, re a really good indication that you should probably be using a method. Uh, is if you see a lot of like stamps in your code where where it there's sort of duplicate code that's sort of pasted here here you know all, all over the all over in the code um, and maybe there's just some minor differences between them uh, that could be handled by a variable that's a pretty good indication that the method should be used uh, for that and then when we start when we talk about classes uh, methods are our way of being able to interact with that class. Um, because the class might have uh, some variables, but you shouldn't expose those variables. You should use you should use methods uh, to be able to get them and to be able to change them. Um, that way, uh, if if uh, a change occurs to a variable, you know that your that your code is responsible. Because um, there are other languages where that's not the case, um, like Python, where anybody could reach in, muck with the variable, and that changing that variable may break. All of the code, and then it's hard to tell who's responsible for it. And so in Java, we're able to set privacies uh, to our variables, and then control, you know, be able to control the access or changing of the variables with methods. And, and we'll and we'll look at that uh, in the activity. And then a class is not like in class here today. It's a classic cl class is in a classification of things. It's a grouping of things. Um, so we can think of, you know, like, uh, wh what do you think this is a class of here? Video games. Video games. What about this? What, what kind of classification is this? Cars. Cars. And then what about this? This is this is a little bit more tricky. What do these all do? Yeah, so it's so so it's so that's it's a human interface device, and specifically, it's a pointer. These are all pointer devices used for moving like a mouse around. Uh, so yeah, they're human interface devices, specifically pointers. Um, and so yeah, that's that's the idea is that, that we have that we that we're able to take lots of different things and, and represent all of them um, as sort of this generic class uh, or classification of those of those things. Um, so here's here's just a little bit of starter code, uh, and we're going to change a lot of this because it's not quite right. Um, so we have our class, um, and then we have like our public things. These are these are public, or anyone can access them. Anyone can call them. So if somebody was outside of our class, they could call all of the public things. Verse, there's some private things that we want to publicly keep. Um, that is an attribute of a particular Pokemon. Oh, I, yeah. Um, and so, all, what I did here was that I, I made an array. Um, so in main, I made an array of type Pokemon, and I called it Pokédex. 
and I just set it to 151. Um, and then the way that I put a Pokemon in the Pokédex is that I just go to a specific index and I say it, it is a new Pokemon, and then I call the, the constructor. And so we'll need to write we'll need to be we'll need to write the constructor because I, I haven't provided that yet. And then I, I have the name and I have two arguments. Um, are you familiar with Pokemons? Yes. So what useful data might we want out of, out of, for a Pokemon to be able to do battle? Okay. So we, we can have their type. The weaknesses and strengths. Yeah. So and that's and that's a bit that's a bit complex of, of a problem. Um, and so there's there's ways of, of doing that. Um, we could have another class that is of types, and then we could ask like, is it weak or is it or is it strong against it? And then it, it returns like a, a floating point number that then we use to multiply or divide, you know, multiply it by all of the whatever da whenever damage is dealt. Um, we we could do that, but we're just gonna we're gonna be really lazy. So in general, what things do you need to be able to have two Pokemon fight each other? Yeah, so, so we need we need attacks. So actually, let me just pull up a data set. So we've got a few. So so here's here's just a generic data set that I grabbed um, for the Pokemons. And so we have we have like the, the Pokédex number. We've got a name. So being able to figure out what the name is of whatever your whatever's attacking whatever is, is probably good. We've got the type as we talked about, and the thing with types that's hard is that there's is that sometimes there's type twos. So so probably just handling types and then giving us multipliers would be a whole separate piece of code that that might even be in another class that does that for us. Um, so we're just gonna omit that for now. Um, we don't care about total. Uh, what do we care about to be able to have two Pokemon battle each other? Yeah. So yeah. So their their attack, their attack and defense, and what else? And their HP. Um, and we could look. We can look at that speed um, to determine like who's going to go first if we wanted to. Um, but yeah. So so in, in general, this is the data. This is the kind of data that, that we would be entering into our Pokédex. So. Was these different attacks at different speeds? Yeah, and so and, and that's the thing is that right now uh, on this chart we don't have different attacks because um, these are modifiers to a base attack that, that can be learned, and that's yet another class. Um, and I actually have a database, I have, I have an SQL database that's running on my computer that that's all it does is figure out, be able to look up who's um, you know, given a Pokemon and a level what. What what things can be taught? What can the things be taught or or have it previously learned? Uh, because that's it's that's a fairly complex thing to solve, and that's why there's like magazines that that's all they used to do, and they would make tons of money because it was it was a hard thing for for people to do in their heads. Um, okay, so yeah, so 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 we said that we wanted the HP, we wanted the defense, and we want the speed probably. Um, Sorry, I can't minimize. There we go. Okay, so let's 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 start there. Okie dokie. Okay, so notice I have the comment of what's what's more useful. So so we want, uh, and and so we want to make all of these private. Um, we'll have accessors. We'll have things called getters and setters. Actually, we, we don't need any setters. We just just a getter uh, to be able to get the various attributes of a of a particular Pokemon. 
So we wanted, uh, and they're all integers, right? Um, yeah, so these are all integers, right? Um, and so if we're just subtracting and adding, uh, we, we don't need to do use any other type. Um, for HP, could we use unsigned int? Unsigned int. Yeah. It's, it's a trick question. We shouldn't because if, if we do negative health, we just want to say fainted. Um, the, issue, the issue with unsigned, as in like there's no negative or positive sign, is that it's only positive, uh, is that if you, if you go at zero and you subtract it by any more, so for example, you have a t more damage dealt than you have health, uh, you end up being a really big positive number. Uh, and so we would prefer that we could, that we could have a negative state. Um, so even though HP will never be, um, will never be below zero, uh, a, a very easy and lazy way is just saying, is to check if you fainted, is whether or not uh, you are zero or, or below. Uh, and then you just consider it zero. And that helps reduce uh, the, the amount of code that you have to write to be able to figure out, like, hey, do the damage that get dealt is that is that going to be, is that going to faint the Pokemon? Uh, and then you set it to zero instead of just always just dealing the damage directly. Okay, cool. Let's jump back to close that. Okay. Um, okay, so we want our ints and we wanted, can I just like pin this somewhere? Sorry, all the Zoom windows are definitely getting them, getting them away. Okay. Okay, so we wanted HP, actually HP, we wanted attack, and we wanted defense. Actually, uh, let's not use defense because like with Bulbasaur, yeah, the, the, the issue is that the attack and defense are the same. And I don't think that if we just subtract it, <laughs> that then like if, if he was attacking somebody with the same, there might be, he might heal them when they attack with a higher defense. So we're just going to omit defense for now. Um, and then we could look, and then we have speed. Uh, and then we and then we wanted the name as well. And what what what's the type that we should have the name? No, no, no like the, the what is the type that name should be? Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay, great. So I can check all that. Okay. So these are going to be the, the private parts. We have our HP. We have our speed. Can I just move this away somewhere else? Aha, uh -huh, there we go. I'll just move it to that screen. Okay. Um, great. So now let's let's go backwards. Let's let's assume that we've already written the constructor. What would oh, let's con let's make Bulbasaur. So yeah, let's let's make Bulbasaur. So what would, and let's just flip this just for readability purposes. So what would the constructor calling the constructor look like? Because this is not correct. So what's, what, what elements did we need, need to grab out of this and when we go to make a Bulbasaur? Okay, 
So right now we just have one one. So how many how many arguments do we have to this constructor right now as it's written? Three. Three. And how many things do we need? Four, exactly. So these ones are incorrect. It is the Bulbasaur right? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, um, so what's the next thing that I should put? Which is what? Yeah. And then what's the next thing? Okay. Well, there we go. We've now added one. Now let's do something a little bit different. Let's make another Pokemon. And we'll just call it, uh, let's pick another one, uh, Squirtle. Or let's make a Squirtle. And we'll call it SQU. Greetings. Okay, so what should I put here? Okay. What's the next thing? Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, not sure if I can. Ugh, there we go. Yeah, that looks right. Cool. Ah, this will teach me to copy paste from when, from uh, from a presentation. It replaced my parentheses. There you go. Cool. And then what we can do. So so sometimes maybe we want to construct a, a, a Pokemon, and then we want to add it to the Pokédex later for for whatever reason. And so what we can do is we can literally just say um, Pokédex at, we'll say one, and then we can just give it Squirtle, like that. So on, on this line here, right, we, we made a, a new Pokémon and we immediately inserted. So the idea is that there, the variable never had a name for this Pokémon. First, Squirtle here had, had a name for just himself as, a, as an independent Pokemon, um, but then also was able to put it into an array. And so this is, uh, this is particularly useful if you have, um, maybe you, you want to keep track of a separate player's Pokemon. So you have an array of that separate player, and then you yourself, and then maybe what's in your PC, and then you've got which, what's actually in the Pokedex itself, is that you have, is that you have one copy of a particular Pokemon, but it's in multiple arrays or other structures. Um, so that's a useful way of, of, of doing it. Okay, so now let's actually write, let's actually write our, um, our constructor. You can think of a constructor as a method. It's sort of like a method, um, except it doesn't have a return type. And that's pretty much what I'm going to say. Uh, it's a slippery slope, um, and it has to match the name. And so, and, um, and you should, in general, make a default constructor. So a default constructor is a constructor that has no arguments. And so what we would do is we would just set default things for all of the, for all of the, the parts, so that these are at least, like, recognizable that if we ever call a default constructor for Pokemon, we immediately can go like, oh, right, I, for, I, I haven't set the name or, or, or any of those. Um, so you can literally just say name equals you know, like none or something like that. That way, if you ever print out a Pokemon that you call with a default constructor, you're perfectly fine. Um, you'll, you'll immediately be like, oh, none, right? This Pokemon isn't a, a real Pokemon yet. Um, but that maybe we have setters that we can reach in and change a Pokemon. So we can make our own Pokemons later if we needed to. Uh, what other things should we probably set? What other attributes does, does a Pokemon have? 
with with the, the the things that we've put into the class at this point. Okay, so HP, and we can set it to something that will make it really obvious if we ever actually like accidentally use it. Maybe we could like give it negative nine or something, something that's going to stand out to us. Like the moment we use this nun type Pokemon that immediately faints, like in battle, that we're like, okay, cool, we're we're good. Uh, what other things? Break. And in this case, I would probably set zero just that way. If we ever, if it ever does attack, it just doesn't do anything. And what else? Yeah. Okay. So that's the default constructor. Now let's make the constructor that's actually the useful one. So what, what things does a Pokemon need to be constructed? Okay. So we can say, um, and what's the type of that? What else do we need? Oh, and we should probably say new. New is reserved, but I use it. There are some people that will say it, don't do that, but so just be mindful that, no, notice that when I just say new, that it highlights it because it's, it's a reserved keyword. So it's just something to be mindful. So now, what happens is that when we do this call here, it makes, it calls this guy, and it makes us a Pokemon, and then it stuffs it in the mirror. Okay, cool. So now let's make some getters. So we've we've we fulfilled the, our to do for making constructors. Now let's get our get do it, our getters. So, what things do we what 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 private parts do we need to get in order to know what a Pokemon is or its attributes? No, so so that's that's the cool thing is that the class doesn't know anything about this array. This array only exists inside of the main. When a class, when when, when you're talking to a, a class, you you would be talking about it, talking to a specific one. So, for example, for the battle for Pokemon, we we could say like. We could say squ dot battle, and then we could say pokedex at zero. And so what this would do is that this would cause Squirtle to battle Bulbasaur. And I might even change this to pokedex one, because it's the same thing. Um, so what's great is that inside of the class, inside of battle, it's as if you, these are, these are your things. So if you are inside of battle, in this particular battle, and you say, hey, what's my name? You'll get, if you literally just print out name, you'll get squirrel. But you would, for here, for, to get this Pokemon, you would say other dot get name. And that would, that, and well, we would need to make the getter for that. But yeah, we would say get name, and then that's how we would get, um, that's how we would get Bulbasaur. So the Squirtle, we can just look at our name. And if we're ever, if we're ever in doubt, we can, if we want to make sure that we're using this one and not some other one, 
um, you can see this dot name. And this is a reference to yourself. Yeah, what's up? Jeff just sent an email that I lost two days in Okay. Um, yeah, so let's see if I can just, if I can sign in the Zoom. I'm already on Zoom now, so let's close, let's close the Zoom out. Yeah, I just got an I just got an email. 